guys, it's Jessie V. So the story that I'm about to tell you is pretty messed up. It's just insanely creepy and something that I would never expect. I received this strange gift in my P.O. box in September. And back then, I wasn't gonna make this a V-time because I was worried that maybe it would be disrespectful to the person who sent me this item. And I also wasn't sure if maybe this person sent me a weird gift because they wanted me to mention this in a V-time or something. So basically, I didn't know if it was a joke or a setup. Like, I just didn't know what to think of what happened. This person could have been completely sincere when they sent it to me. I, I just don't know. I'll just let you guys be the judge of that because I am gonna tell you what I received in the mail. I feel like enough time has passed. I mean, it's like mid-December and this happened at the beginning of September, so I think I'm okay to talk about it now. I'm not gonna reveal this person's name because I do want to keep their privacy. I don't want them to like be revealed and get embarrassed, so I'm just gonna keep this all very private. So let's go back in time to September. I had recently opened a P.O. box and it was so exciting for me because I was actually receiving tons of letters from you guys. I thought that if I opened a P.O. box I'd receive a letter maybe like, I don't know, every two weeks or something, but every time I went to my P.O. box, which is like every other day, I'd have like two or three letters and like, oh, it just made me feel so special and so happy. I could actually hear from my subscribers and see their handwriting and it's just everything became so real to me. But one particular day I went to my P.O. box just thinking I'd get, you know, the normal letters to read, but I opened it and like there was this orange thick envelope. It looked like it was really packed with something and it was just stuffed in my P.O. box. One of the workers must have just like jammed it in there because my P.O. box is like this small cube so like they must have just shoved the envelope in there. <laughs> Anyways, I took it home and I put it on top of some letters that I was gonna read later because that's kind of my routine now. I'll go to my P.O. box, I'll get the letters, I'll take them home and I'll put them on my bedside table and then I'll read them all before I go to bed. And I keep every single letter, you guys. I've actually started a scrapbook with every single thing you guys have ever sent me. Artwork, letters, all those like rainbow loom bracelets. Like, I have everything from you guys. I will have them forever and ever, I promise. So yeah, this night that I am referring to, I sat down in my bed, I was ready to open some letters, and I decided to open this big orange envelope first because I was like, what is in this thing? Like, it's heavy, like it's filled with something. And I found out that the reason why this envelope took up so much space in my P.O. box was because inside of it, there was a knit hat, kind of just balled up and put inside the envelope, there was a pair of goggles, and there was one sock. And they were all used because the hat had like dirt on one side of it. The sock, which was green, did not smell good. You know when you wear socks like for a long amount of time, like you've had socks for like three years, and the bottom of the sock kind of starts wearing out. Yeah, that's what this sock was doing. And then the goggle had like scratches and stuff on the front of it. So I thought that was a bit strange, but I wasn't gonna be like, oh my gosh, I gotta make a V time about these three items I received. Like that was not really the weird part. I mean, it was, it was a bit strange, but it wasn't the weirdest part. It's about to get weirder. There was a little white piece of paper folded inside of this orange envelope. And what I was about to see inside this letter was gray. On the front in marker, it said pieces of me. So I was like, what does this mean? All I kept thinking about was that song from like a million years ago. All the pieces, pieces, pieces of me. So I open this letter and the entire page is covered in a collage of this guy's face. Just hundreds of small selfies all over the page, just pasted everywhere. And then on this page, there were these four tiny pockets made out of just white plain paper. And above these little pockets, it said, once again, pieces of me written out in marker, and underneath that in pencil, it said, I'll never get to meet you, so I sent you parts of myself. This is a gift from me to you. And, like, I'm just really confused. I mean, like, if you're in my position, like, what do you think? You're like, what? What is in these pockets? I was, like, scared to open them to see what was inside. But I did open them very carefully because my curiosity at this point just overtook me. My curiosity controls me in these types of situations. And do you know what was 
in these four pockets. The first one had a couple eyelashes. The second one had a few strands of brown hair. The third one had fingernails. Like, not full fingernails, but like, you know when you kind of like peel the top of your nail? Yeah, just like the nail clippings kind of thing. And the fourth one had a lovely used band-aid. So this guy also sent me his blood. And I almost puked. Just thinking about it makes me want to puke. I was just completely creeped out and I didn't know if it was a joke or if this guy was serious. And maybe this whole thing meant a lot to him. Like maybe he actually felt like he was sending me a part of himself or something. And like if it did mean a lot to him, I feel kind of bad because of the way I reacted. But just as a normal human being and you see that kind of thing, you just, I guess, naturally feel a little bit weirded out. I'm not making fun of it. I just, it was such a bizarre thing that I, I had to tell you guys. And if it was a joke, you're not funny, okay? You are not funny because I did not laugh. Thanks for giving me a heart attack. I did take a picture of the outside of the envelope and the inside of the envelope with the pockets and, you know, the, the collage of this guy's face. And I really did want to show you guys that, but it's just, ugh, I can't because, like, his face is all over the page. I just, I can't show him. Like, I just, I feel wrong about showing him to you guys. So I'll just keep that to myself. And I did actually send that picture, I think, over Snapchat to, to my closest friends, which I know who you guys are, so please do not show that picture to anybody because it is private. I don't even think they kept it. I don't think they screenshot it anyway. But they also did think it was really, really weird. So yeah, when I'm 60, I'm going to look back at that picture that I took and I'm going to think, oh my young days when I received body parts in the mail. Body parts? I don't think I meant to say body parts. I mean pieces from the body. I don't even know how to describe what I received. Any way I put it, it's going to sound weird. So I did take a picture of the front of the envelope where it says pieces of me. So I will show you that, but I, ugh, I can't show you the inside of it. It just would be really disrespectful of me. If you're wondering what I did with the stuff he sent, I pretty much threw it out right away after I took the pictures. It's just so unsanitary to me. I remember walking to the garbage like this, just holding it out in front of me like, ew, be gone, strange package. But yeah, that's the only weird gift slash package I've ever received in my P.O. box. Everything else has been completely amazing. I am so thankful to you guys for absolutely everything that you do for me. I may actually do a P.O. box unboxing soon with all, you know, the packages that I've been sent. I just, I'm kind of waiting to like gather enough to make a full video on that. But I don't want you guys to feel obligated to send me anything. I am fine with just letters. You don't need to worry about packages. But for those of you who have sent or are planning to send them, I will make an unboxing P.O. box video in the near future. <laughs> but I do read all of your letters before bed and they are amazing and I do keep them all. Oh, and please do not send me any creepy things because I've told you this story. I am not gonna make any more P.O. box creepy stories. So if you think you could send me something so you can be in the V time, it's not gonna happen. This is the only video I'm gonna make. And uh, yeah, I do not want any more body parts. Please, please do not do that to me. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this oddly strange creepy story. I'm just like a germaphobe. So I guess getting that type of thing is more of, it's a bigger deal for me than maybe it is for you. I don't know. Am I like overreacting? I don't know. Guys, just tell me. Tell me if you think it's a joke, if you think it was legit. I don't know. Because this person sent this to me like a week or two after I opened my P.O. box. So he could have just been joking and being like, okay, she opened a P.O. box. Let me freak her out. I don't know. I don't know. But yes, I hope you guys have an awesome rest of your day. As usual, my social media information is below along with my vlog channel and my P.O. box information. So check that out. And until next time, guys, bye. Bye.